Hi, my name is Nicole Foster. Welcome to the Hippie Theologian. Tonight we're talking about um, reconstruction, God's gift during deconstruction. And I would like to formally apologize. Um, I have overscheduled myself. And for those of you who know me, um, you know this about me. So I'm driving uh, somewhere um, while I'm doing this video. So um, yes, my eyes are on the road and on you. So. Um, but tonight's uh, stage is the fourth stage of, of deconstruction, um, and that is a depression. Uh, but before we get into that, let me pray real quick while my eyes are on the road. <laughs> Father God, we thank you so much that you give us time, no matter what time it is in our lives, you make time for us. So, Father God, we ask that you uh, reveal yourself to us and teach us what we need to know about uh, your loving embrace and your your loving growth and stretching in our lives. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, pray. Amen. So deconstruction, um, the fourth stage, depression. And so what does this mean? So we went through denial, we went through um, anger, and then we went through uh, bargaining. So bargaining like this is not working for me, but maybe if I do this, this will help me stay in the faith. Um, and then, so tonight is depression. So depression comes after uh, bargaining has not worked for you. So you're trying to stay in the faith. Um, you are trying everything you can. You've thought of everything you can. You've gone to different worship services. You've gone to this denomination. You've looked into this religion. You try to combine stuff and you finally realize that it is not working for you. So then you get depressed because you're like, Lord, um, are you real? What's going on? I'm not, I can't do this anymore. And so you literally get depressed. Um, you can be, um, and I will say this in ministry, for those of you who are in ministry, depression is a very sharp arrow that, that is uh, shot at many clergy members. Um, depression over ministry, you can get depressed, uh, particularly after a sermon. Um, and, and you have to think of this as, you know, for much of this is uh, the enemies. Oh, oh my gosh. I have this money. Uh, the enemy's uh, uh, kind of trap uh, in in our in our lives, um, and you do need to pray against it and surround people who are going to pray against that with you. But as far as depression and deconstruction, um, this can be uh, you're, you're upset that it's not working for you anymore. Um, you start not. This is the point where you start not going to worship services. You start not. Um, praying like you used to you've kind of you you've almost given up um, so what do you do in this stage uh, what do you do in depression um, there's so many things because depression hits people differently some people literally experience physical pain uh, some people literally are not functional and can't get up out of bed some people uh, have a smile on their face and can be just as down as can be on the inside. Um, depression has a great mask for some people, um, or they mask it well, I should say. Uh, but uh, when this stage happens in deconstruction, this is, this is kind of like the dark night of the soul. Um, you almost feel like you are left in the dark, like, uh, that God has abandoned you, that um, you've been deceived some way about what's the truth. Um, so this is, it's, it's, it's serious. Um, but um, what do you do? Try to almost, and I, I am going to say this, it's a lonely place to be. Um, but in that loneliness, God will meet you. Uh, a lot of people like to grasp for other people and, you know, try to um, dive into a whole bunch of crowds and, and, and groups and uh, keep their lives busy when actually in that silent and lonely place, God speaks mightily. Um, think about Elijah. Um, 
God speaks mightily in those silent, dark times. So, uh, yes, seek prayer. Yes, seek spiritual counsel. Uh, but hold on in this part because uh, the dark, dull parts is when a lot of times when God um, just astounds you. Uh, remember, in the depression part, this is always the thing that you forget in the depression part, is that God is still with you. God loves you. And God has not left you. And he's not going to forsake you. Um, and he's going to, uh, no pit is too deep. Corey Tim Boom says this, no pit is too deep that he is yet deeper still. So trust him, saints. Uh, trust um, that he is the soother in your depression. He is the deliverer. So we thank him for that. So I'm going to get off this phone before something else happens. <laughs> so um, God bless you. Uh, hope to see you soon. If you have any questions or comments, or if you're uh, afraid to comment, please message me. I'll get back to you. Um, and we are going to walk through this together with the Lord. So God bless you. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.